At last, I have successfully completed it. My 100 watt mercury vapor table lamp. As you can see, it's using a uh, post top globe fitter and a 12 inch acrylic globe. A reclaimed post top globe fixer, and I have a short. I have a lighting post which I cut short with a hacksaw. Dangling inside of there is a 100-watt uh, post-line mercury vapor ballast, which is a cylindrical-shaped ballast that hangs inside of the post by a single chain, which is hooked over the edge of the post. The base at the bottom is just your common 3-inch toilet flange with some pieces of sheet metal used to wedge the post in there. And it's a little harder to see because um, the lamp is just warming up. Mercury vapor lamps, much like metal halide or high-pressure sodium lamps, all take some time to warm up since they're all in the high-intensity discharge family. Right now I'm using a clear bulb in the fixture for that unique blue-green glow that is impossible to duplicate by anything else. As it warms up, maybe you'll be able to see the base. You can sort of see it a little bit now, though I don't know if we're going to catch the whole thing on camera, because like I said before, the 100 watt lamps take longer to warm up than the 175 watt ones for some reason. And this, the clear bulb is cool for when I'm in the mood for that beautiful glow, though sometimes if I need a nice white light I'll throw in, I'll throw in a coated lamp too. I'll film another video with a coated lamp warming up in here at some point in the future. It's uh pretty far from fully warmed up, but that's probably about all we're going to get on this video, so uh, enjoy!